Good evening, or good morning, whatever you're <coughs> watching this, to our most <laughs> horrifying, spooky Halloween special. What? I'm sorry. Uh, are we from the Futurama episodes now? What the hell is Futurama? Oh my god, you Wait a minute, me. what? How... You, right? You, you heard that too, right, Jace? I... I... Like, yes, Maxwell heard it. I, I heard it. Everyone heard it. <laughs> I, and you still keep this guy employed. I, I applaud you fucking... You businessman. But... Jeez. Yeah, you know, this is what I don't happens think may have when you get a narrator from Wish. Hey! I'm just saying, you had your advertisement on Wish. Anyway! <laughs> yeah. I, wait, wait, wait. I, it took me a second to process what you just said. He's had his advertisement on Wish. Yeah, I, 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 I was looking for, like, a cool Batman action figure or a little minifig for my superheroes. Well, do I have the site for you? I swear to God, if you try to sell me... A creation foundry fucking bullcrap. I'm gonna take the damn chair that's signed by Dwayne The Rock Johnson and smash it, it over your head. That's my job. It's the only satisfaction I get out of life anymore. Approximately $45 for that damn figure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna use eldritchfoundry.com, okay? Where Not I can get. just Eldritch Foundry. Eldridgefamily.com Foundry. You said fa family. Did I say family? <laughs> you said oh, family. God. Jeez, someone's oh, getting... Jeez, you're Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, careful. someone's getting you, brain the damage. Old narr... Sorry, the Can old narrator's mentality is contagious. Yeah, I was I about think... to say. I was about to say, Jesus, I'm getting brain damage from just being in the same room as that guy, but fuck. Well, fuck to you too, then. Again, brain damage. <laughs> Anyway, if you go to eldritchfoundry.com slash superheroes, get 15% off on amazing miniatures, like the one that I wanted. I created a whole new superhero. It looks really nice. And I didn't have to get it off Wish, so. I'm like this bitch here. And let's go with the recap. I thought I was doing <laughs> that. Um, no, not after the last time. No. You lost your privileges. I, I gave well, you a chance to do a yourself. spooky intro, and you fucked it up. I thought it was good. Most of the intros. It was shit. It was, honestly, you could have done so much better. You know, if I wanted the 1960s Batman, I would have resurrected Adam West. Just say it. Honestly, I think modern Batman would be better than this bitch. <laughs> I think the He's... original would be better, technically speaking. You know, I, I, I actually reckon the uh, the 1976 cartoon Batman voice actor would have been better than him. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> anyway. Well, you did find him on Wish, that's, you know. Well, the round table got caught up in a huge, big huge fight. We had to that protect huge. Metalhead over here. <laughs> you, you know I can vaporize you. That's my so line, fun. thank you, but okay. No, your line is mongrel. No, yeah. because... <laughs> no, your line is mongrel. <laughs> I mean, yes, but at the same time, he, he's been referring to Dr. Fate as uh, moldy gold. Oh, Gilgamesh, yeah, that's I, right, moldy gold. I'm at gold. the point... Gilgamesh, I'm at the point where I'm starting to question whether or not anything else is in your vocabulary other than mongrel. <laughs> anyway... It's like it's like original Broly <laughs> with Kakarot. <laughs> anyway, Goldie over here. We had to protect him for five minutes. Then pops up this weird girl in black that decided to throw a freaking dictionary at my head. The fact that you, I'm still <laughs> laughing at the fact that you got knocked out by that. I was knocked out. I got hit in the head. I You're was the just only standing. One who got got hurt by this. Up by a book. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one that got hurt. Oh, and now there's this big dude that keeps saying rest in peace. Uh, 
Yeah, somehow I don't think he really means that. Somehow just I a think hunch. he's bluffing. I get the feeling he means rest in pieces. Yeah. Uh, I get the feeling he's talking into a mirror. Yeah, I get that one. Too. No, because then he really would be saying rest in pieces at that point. While exactly. everyone was bickering about what was going on during the last episode, they didn't notice the Undertaker grabbing the lid of his urn. Really, no. That, that's... It, you couldn't have come up with a better word. Y- you know what? It, at least this is one of his better ones. I, yeah, true. <laughs> come it's, on, guys. At least, at least the intern seems to have actually written a script this time. It's only come about on, four guys. words, but still. I mean, come on, guys. Even the intern has to earn their pay. I don't pay the intern. What did he say? Oh, shit. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just admit that on stream? No, I just admitted that on, on, on editor. <laughs> yes, because yes, the editor sir. has control over um, stream. T- take out that last five seconds of, uh, you, 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 you know, that. Well, you know, Maxwell, unfortunately, I don't think he will. When you said you weren't paying me, sir? Uh, I mean, what are you talking about? I pay you. <laughs> I, I believe I believe you've gotten into a sticky situation here. Right? Yes. I believe this sounds like a whole load of horse crap to me. Intern looks at going, oh no, how is that overtime uh, check looking? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? We'll, so, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll negotiate pay in the next episode, okay? Okay. The next I'm episode. Sure this one. I feel like we may have a uh, a union situation on your hands if you don't uh, hurry up with that. I mean, considering how bruised and battered he got this first episode, I'm not sure that's all how much of a concern. Uh, as much as the, you guys have a point about Maxwell's financial problems, we I mean, yeah, he's supposed to be better than three target. He's the one hurt there. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah the, book. the earned thing. So I need everyone. I'm I'm gonna break the rules a little bit. Oh, oh no. careful! You're gonna give Trevor heart attack. I will give Trevor heart attack. <laughs> Everyone, roll a, a d20 against your uh, will. Against our own will. Our own will. Will is awareness, correct? Uh, let me find my yes, dice real quick. Is awareness. Okay, so my, my dice rolled off. So what you're telling me is we have to roll against our awareness stat. Yes. <laughs> Not a D20 plus the awareness, just a, the number. No, no, no. You're, you're rolling oh, oh, an awareness check. I'm sorry. 26. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, that's not the dice I wanted to use, but, oh. Well, so... Total of 20. Total of 20. Uh, Jacques, you got 26. Let's see. Loose. I'm rolling now. Give me a second. Danger Moose. Danger Moose. <laughs> uh oh, Danger Rose. We can make oh, SpaghettiOs no. jokes diggy, now diggy that. Mole. We can make uh, SpaghettiOs jokes now that uh, Dork is watching the stream. <laughs> No. It's a dork. How are the SpaghettiOs? No, God. Please SpaghettiOs no. are spaghetti. <laughs> Bitch, I swear to God, if you say that one more fucking time, I'm going to rip your throat out. Well, I mean. Seriously, though. Am I wrong? Yes. Yes, in fact. <laughs> Oh. Did I just did I just hear the misses in back? That 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 was my 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 secretary. Yes. Wait, you have a secretary? No. Hold the on. Secretary. Let me, she doesn't get paid either. Does she? I was going to say. I sure know about the secretary. Free. So hold on. This I sounds like a surefire way you. to get yourself in trouble after the podcast. <laughs> I gotta pay wait, for wait. you, the secretary, and the writer. We're, we're gonna have a talking. Wait, talk. wait! You are saying the owner of this, the owner of this, didn't realize he had a secretary? I didn't know the narrator had a secretary. This is the narrator's secretary. 
Wait, why does he get all this... these benefits when I get jack shit? I, I don't gonna know say, why would he need... I was going to ask why he would need benefits of that degree in the first place. I mean, you don't really need a secretary to inherit an narration. I, You're I right. Gonna, I, okay, I was going, right, to question why he has benefits, period, with how he is. I mean, take you mean a tangible? Benefits. Oh, also, Trip, I need, I need your role. Check general in Discord, Jace. Okay. Uh, I could have sworn I said it already. It was 19. Oh, okay. Okay, so because I've also been watching, I got a twenty total. Twitch chat, that's all the things. Why am I not surprised that me and Luz got the exact same role? I've got my twenty six. Okay. Uh, so you got a twenty six. John got a twenty. Luz, what did you get? Twenty. Uh, twenty. Twenty. And Truth got a nineteen. Luce and John. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna check the numbers here. I don't even need to. That would help. You. Okay, your awareness is five. Okay. Welcome, welcome. Uh, not to just jump you right into game, but I need you to roll me a d20. Would somebody roll me? I don't have my dice right now. All right, got it. Seventeen. <laughs> 17. Give me one. Yeah, it's a good thing you took his role, not my role. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I'm not even gonna say what I I'm not even gonna say what I rolled because Jace would probably jump on that opportunity. Alright, so <laughs> do, do you guys want do you guys want the good news or the bad news? The do you ever news. give good news? Give me the median. Okay. <laughs> give well, me the median, he says. Bad right. news is you all fail. Good news is your order in which you all got sucked into the urn. Oh Stop. gosh, so as a fully plated person getting sucked into the urn at the same time as a child, that doesn't sound like a comfortable situation for the child. Well, looks like this urn from this Undertaker dude is starting to suck all of us. Gotcha. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Th this is so worse Jace, than the I just realized the order is quite an issue. <laughs> it, it reminds me. It reminds me of a nondescript <laughs> blue box that's bigger on the inside. Also, I just want to say, I just realized a bit of a conundrum here. Sean rolled significantly higher than Luce, which means either the all of Luce's blood gets sucked out first, or the blood is the last thing to go in. No, we're going the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, under the roll logic, that's even worse. Okay. So here's here's what happened. Maxwell got sucked into the ad first. Then it was Neurologic. She got sucked in next. While trying to save her, Dr. Fate jumped in front of her, but that didn't work, knocking him out. Knocking him out, not knocking in. Uh, that that that's what I said. Then Lou, then Sylphie gets sucked in, too. I thought you were about to say Luli or something for a second, and I was about to be so angry. <laughs> <laughs> were you trying to ship the L -U -L -I, two? L-U-L-I, Luli. <laughs> okay, very similar to the gem called Lapis Lazuli, but uh, different. It's an eight-year-old Guys, child. don't. Gasters apparently in the chat don't give him nickname ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that pretty early on. So after Sylphie gets sucked into the urn, weirdly enough, her blood gets sucked in. Wait, wait. am I reading this right? <laughs> the girl goes in first and then her blood? <laughs> One second, let me wait, wait, let me see this script for a second. I was off having a biscuit. Let me fuck. You just see Maxwell Maxwell, did you approve this? Maxwell's just, head just pops out of the urn. You think this is the weirdest thing in this entire series? We had an eight year old girl drive a tank through a government building, and this is the weirdest Jesus. thing? She's also a cannibal, but I'm just thinking about the 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking about the children's rights here. I Cop feel like off, this is like, a little bit much. Cop it off, like seriously. It's a, it's like, it's like a case of Looney Tunes, but gorier. <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. and I'm the gore. Hey, it's in the script, right. so deal with it. So you're saying you approved this? His head pops back up. Jesus. Yes. And all, all you see is Undertaker just smash Max Undertaker, Will's head into the urn. Undertaker, can you do me a favor? Whatever right. Maxwell had, turn it up to fucking 11, all right? Sound good? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, as always, the person named Undertaker is noncommittal. How about that? That after the child and her blood got sucked in, then Roscoe's body got sucked into the urn, and Is last was I feel like I got skipped Gilgamere. over. I thought I, I got the same number roll as Luce. <laughs> if anything, I should have gone in before the blood did. Well, mm, too bad. Th this I mean, is okay. Said. This is what was in the script. Don't worry about it. You've heard, you've forgotten, and the Undertaker was probably gonna look back and be like, "Oh, there's still a person here." <laughs> like, oh, all right, I forgot about you. The Undertaker you considered you. you so little of a threat that he forgot that you existed for a solid minute. You're next, and Undertaker turns the ah. urn to Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh gets sucked into the urn as Undertaker closes the urn. Yeah, the last ah, thing that going to threaten you. The ah! last thing to go enter into the urn was Gilgamesh's hand with the middle finger out. <laughs> the, fact, the fact that that's the part that you're not going to live down from uh, from Jacques here. <laughs> Thank God they're gone. I could get some good uh, good night's sleep. Oh, the I fuck just is forget sleep? that I'm here. Don't... I can make sure you get some sleep. Don't test me, boy. Insert a clip of a, a metal material being unfolded. <laughs> hey, cool narrator, you need some more chloroform? No, I've got a chair this time. I brought my uh, own. Yes, it's the steel one. You just see no, Maxwell's... it's marble this time. You, you, you just see Maxwell's head pop Fancy. out again with the lid just flying off. Hey, I didn't hire you to sleep on the job. Also, you're not done. Oh, I have to take it. it. I, I got How two is it the person who's most easily knocked out and most easily harmed is the one resisting this the most all of a sudden? <laughs> He's got a point there. Anyway. <laughs> Wait, what? As, as you were saying, Jace. Uh, I, I, I'm getting... Okay. As <laughs> Maxwell says this, Undertaker smashes his head back into the really urn. <laughs> Points the urn to the sky and both the- Wait, what? No! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Karma! I told you, if we were gonna have to be in here, you're coming in with me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't get paid enough for this. I You get paid? Sadly, I do. Why is that a sad thing? Because I have to deal with this. Okay. If you're, I don't want to if you're getting people. paid to pay to deal with it, does that not like it's money? Okay. Okay. Your uh, um, counter uh, counter uh, point. Uh, not, you can't spend not... money if you're dead. <laughs> Plus, I can read the damn script. You know what? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Let's see how this goes. So, uh, as we find our heroes. The lights are starting to come on in each room. We find our heroes in separate rooms. I feel like there's something wrong with this script. Am I reading this yeah, right? Did, okay, did Google Translate write, write this script? It, it, is wow, that... you're really just seeking to take the rest of the credit away from the intern, aren't you? So, I mean, I, 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 editing I, now. I, I, I think... The, the inter just got lazy. But anyway. A disembodied voice talks to each character. Oh. I mean, we've been doing that for the entire season. As I say, there's nothing new to that. Yeah, <laughs> you'll need to specify. Let's go. Thing. 
<laughs> now, all of you have made a very big problem for my employer. So, I would like to have a fun. Each one of you are in a different room, except for two of you. <laughs> Every one of you is in a different room, except for the two people that aren't. I feel like they should be. I think they'll. I feel like they should be paired up. Uh, whoever is doing this, I think you messed up. Maybe pair us if there's gonna be two people that you pair. Yeah, it seems a little bit on fact. Claim inequality. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish the rule. Alright, all right. you, you have your fun. As I was saying, <laughs> each one of you is in a separate room. Each one of you has their own game. Survive the game, and you survive the uh Wait, does mine have Monopoly? I don't like Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I swear, I swear, if I have to play the game of life, I'm gonna eat the board. Oh, it looks like I get the next okay. form. Like, they really got lazy. Okay. I don't even have a second person to play with. <laughs> we don't need to fuck around with life. <laughs> you are all be good as is. And this is where partners would come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Wait, whoa, wait, what? Hold Kiss up. my ass! Can they? Alright, well. I, I... <laughs> Maxwell, we'll see you in three years. We've, Best of luck, Bendigo. We find Silphy in a dark room huh? with a shadowy figure. Dad? <laughs> the, the shadowy figure I thought is... you went to get milk. <laughs> the shadowy figure... <laughs> wow! <laughs> Is it's not wrong. <laughs> I'm not cutting that out. It's not wrong. Oh. oh my god. Where was I? Right. Right. The shadowy figure is about the same height as Sylphie. But she can't put her finger on who it is. Are you my imaginary friend from when I was two? I thought ah, you went to buy cigarettes. I see you found your game. I uh, hear you like being a child, so I made this game I, for I you. I mean, I, I don't really have much of a choice about how quickly I grow up, so... You and your symbiote, or your blood, whatever you want to call him. I call him, an, I call him Jacques. I call him a fucking idiot. I call him a fucking idiot. Watch yourself. Man. Why? I can't fucking die. <laughs> yeah, and I really can't either, your point. What's good? Narrator, do, do you want to just sit down, have some drinks, maybe talk about what's going on? I've been alive for long enough that drinks have no effect. You got anything stronger? It, it was the point of you opening up, maybe, you know... Let some have of that you stress got, out? Have you got anything stronger? Well, we'll have to look. Anyway. That might work. That might work. <laughs> anyway. You will be playing Simon Says. Oh, I love Simon Says. Each turn, you will have to mimic the shadow. Fail. Very, very painful for you. Hate to break it to you, but pain doesn't register. Maybe not to you, but maybe to your blood 
friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. Did you say that I get hurt too? Nah, bitch, I'm liquid. Fuck you, on. <laughs> my, my therapist was telling me that it might be a problem. <sighs> well, I wish you luck in your game. Do I get a prize that I can eat? Can I eat you? All right. Hello? So, Sylphie, I, I, I know, need I you to roll <laughs> an agility roll. I bet. Okay, what did you get? Uh, a 19 on the die. Okay. Uh, that fucking... is 26. So... You see the shadow move, and Sylphie follows the movement. This is fun! It's like dance class in gym, except enjoyable. And a severe lack of Cotton Eye Joe. Okay. Jacques. Now you're going to have to roll. Okay. Roll agility for me. Why do I feel like this is just him staying in my body? Nat 20. Nat 20. Jacques, you realize that the shadow moved very quickly, so you move Sylphie's arm across her chest like the shadow did. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You survived the first round. Let's make it a little bit harder. This is fun. Sylphie, roll me another agility roll. Bet. Another 19 on the die. Okay. The shadow has to beat a 19. Well, now I know the mechanic. Nice. The shadow gets a 19. <laughs> well, then. Sylphie... Moves her other arm, creating an X across her chest. The shadow does the same. Oh, is it turn-based, Simon says? Oh, you're good. I didn't think an eight-year-old would learn that quickly. I didn't think an old man could be that dumb. Let's continue. Wow, he's really dry for conversation. Tim Ken Nuggets. I swear to God, I will rip you out of my system. <laughs> You'll try, but you will die! Okay. Both of you this time, <laughs> roll an agility roll. That... 24. Okay. 18 on the die. So... You both <clears throat> failed. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. The... Shadow jumps and does a flip. Sylphie tries to imitate this flip, fails, and breaks her leg. Ow. I'm in so much pain. Just give it a moment, Sylphie. This hurts so badly. <laughs> you right now... Take one point of physical damage. Ah. This hurts so much. <laughs> Alright. Well now. You see how the game is played. It is now your turn. If you could... Okay. If you could fool the shadow, you could leave the room. Can I start <laughs> eating my shoe? Good luck. Can I start eating my shoe? You can, as a, as, do you want that as your action to? Yes. Roll an agility check. <laughs> Man, it takes a lot of agility to eat your own shoe. What am I doing, a cartwheel to eat it off my foot? No. Yeah. With a nat 20, I might be. Okay. <laughs> so... You go to eat your broken leg's shoe. The shadow tried to mimic it, 
and breaks its own leg by doing so. Oh, yeah. I can't break something that's already broken, bitch. <laughs> well done. It is now the shadow's turn. Jacques, roll for agility. Well, fuck me. What? Nat 20 again. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> you realize... Jacques realizes that the shadow tried to cheat and do another flip. Realizing this, he flips Sylphie the same way, protecting her from getting hurt again. That was weird. You're welcome, kiddo. Thank you. Well, wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh well. Why don't you take your turn? See if you can break another limb. I'm going to give it a high five. <laughs> Alright, roll for agility. Nineteen on the die again. Eighteen on the die. Nineteen. Nineteen on the die. You Sylphie goes to give the Shadow a high five. The shadow trips and breaks its other leg. <laughs> How dumb is your shadow, Mr. Undertaker guy? Does he take after you? Oh, young little girl. This yeah. only gets harder for you. So Good, you because managed this to is break really easy. two limbs. Let's see if the shadow can break more than two. Both of you roll me an agility roll. 24. 18 on the die. Okay. Well, sadly you both failed. Damn. The shadow Jumps back on its feet. While it's doing so, Jacques tried to bring Sylphie to her feet. But by doing so, the shadow broke Sylphie's other leg. Oh yeah, hey Jace, don't forget. Regeneration. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> oh, looks like Oh, you. I just realized how that's going to work. <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, wow. Oh, clever, this clever. game is fun. Clever, clever, Jace. You would make a brilliant saw. Clever. Let's see if you could both try and beat it again. I'm going to give the shadow another turn. Now that yeah, doesn't that's fair. That yeah, that doesn't seem fair. Whose game is this? Yours technically, or mine? Technically it's not even ours, it's Jace's game, so. I this is my urn. It's my so, game. You're not the one who created the universe, mate. You know he has a point. I can put <laughs> you in a game. Never mind. Never mind. Fucking do it. I dare you, go for it. Okay, Luz. Please kill me. <laughs> Sean, roll me another agility roll. Actually, not twenty. Let's fucking go. So not twenty again. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, what is our shit. luck right now? <laughs> You're still running off that Vex Mythic class luck. Yes, I am. The, the shadow, attempts. <laughs> probably. Attempts to do a. Wait, a nine hundred kickflip 
of a half pipe? Am I reading this right? <laughs> yes, yes. We, Did we give monkeys typewriters again? Maxwell, <laughs> we talked about this. Unfortunately, Maxwell can't hear you at this point. Maxwell! Uh, <laughs> anyway! Filthy sees what is happening, grabs the skateboard near her, and does the exact same trick with Jock's I, help. What can I say? I was doing kickflips for the past six years. Well, that was incredible. What can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> Let's try this again. Good luck, bitch. No, nah, I don't feel like it. Shut I'm up. getting bored. It's your ah, turn. Bitch. Again. Seriously. Am I, just, am I just never gonna get a turn? This is getting boring. I'm going to step in if you don't give her a turn. Fine. The little girl can have a turn. I'm gonna turn Jock into a weapon and attack. Okay. What I was waiting for, actually. <laughs> I let her play for a little bit until she got bored. Okay, Jacques. I yeah. need you I need you to transform and give me the stats of your transformation. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. One second. I I can't decide. Should I go gun or sword? That is up to you too. Cuz I I'm debating between a straight sword and a gun because we could go fencing in this bitch. That you guys have to make a decision. I want to turn into a gun blade. <laughs> okay. Jace? Roll? <laughs> Roll me. <laughs> a, a dexterity check, both of you. Let's fucking go. Checking stats. Um, that's an unnatural 20. Okay. That's a natural 20 for me, bud. All right. So here's what happened. Jacques, coming out of the broken leg of Sylphie, turned into a... Smith & Weston... Revolver sword? I didn't even know that was a th I want one now. Bitch, it's called a gun blade. I want that one. I haven't actually seen one in so long. It's It's been years since I've actually seen one. Good job, Jacques. <laughs> Roll an awareness check. Both of us? Both of us. Roll an awareness check. Well, this is where shit gets real. Uh, Jacques, I better... I, I really hope that you got the, uh, got the awareness. <laughs> <laughs> Jace, you're gonna fucking hate me. Okay. Please tell me you got a nat 20 because I got a 2 on nat the die. Yeah, baby! Alright. Let's a fucking go! So, as Sylphie is admiring the craftsmanship of Jock, Jock swings his. swings Sylphie's arm to deflect an attack from the shadow. Right, because it's a mirror thing, and it's based on thoughts, and then not... Okay, that makes sense. Ah, now we get to the interesting part. I want to see where this plays out. This plays out with me shoving this blade into your throat. Okay. Accurate. <laughs> what do you two do? Well, Jog. You're part of this. Let's get your opinion as well. I want to actually trigger my own systems and fire a shot at it. You want to shoot? And I would like to swing. I was hoping for you two to agree. Actually, that's the perfect combination. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it is. Because using the momentum from the actual blast of the round... Sophie gets bonus momentum. So how do you want to play this out? Are you shooting the ground to give Sylphie leverage to attack? As Sophie is swinging, I'm going to fire off a shot to give bonus 
swing speed effectively. Okay. Jacques, I need you to roll a dexterity. Because this is technically a You're you're trying to throw yourself as you're shooting like you're shooting yourself, so you're basically throwing yourself at to <laughs> add momentum. Hey, it's throw all good. yourself at the enemy, my friend. <laughs> my existence is fucking pain! Oh. Oh? Another one! Twenty or one? Boom headshot! Okay! Two. So this hold on, hold on. Loose, I need you to make a attack roll. So that is a fighting roll since you're trying to attack the shadow. <laughs> oh, hmm. <laughs> I would like to apologize in advance. And why is that? Because that is... A nat 20. <laughs> okay! I'm glad you got a nat 20, because this would have been horrible if you got anything less. Good. <laughs> okay! So... Pulling a ruby rose on this bitch. I'm gonna roll against fortitude. Oh god. Oh god. This uh -oh. game might be over. Uh, <laughs> Triv? I I'm gonna need you here for a second. Please tell me. Hmm? Please tell me. So, you know how you said last episode, the first time we got a nat 20 against the nat 1? So... Oh, <sighs> no. So, what's the total of the uh, so here's check the, that they got? Here's the thing. No, Selfie's attack does, was... A, it still doesn't matter. Selfie's attack was a nat 20. But she's getting a boost because Jacques is shooting a bullet out of himself with the, in the sword gun form, making it a much that would, faster hit. I ruled that the hit would have a plus two to its DC. Okay. Basically, adding it, basically turning it to a damage ten because it is a crit. So what do they roll for their uh, save? Because it automatically hits. So. Like I said, do you remember? It's a nat one. It, it, yeah, it, it's a nat. Well, one. even if that matters, what's the number? It's a nat one. It's it. It's what's one. The There's no plus. Oh the, no. Uh, the fortitude is five, so the total is six. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Okay. And even if it's not one, I need that number. I thought, uh, oh my god, I thought it was a zero. So it's <laughs> I a was gonna laugh. This is a crit, and I'm ruling that because of the assistance to get a plus two to that. So that would be. Yeah, they're fucking dead. <laughs> Simple! Slashes! The shadow in half! But by doing so, Jacques actually goes off accidentally and blows the shadow's brains out! <laughs> oh, wow! God damn! Well, I never knew I had that much power behind me. Shit! That was fun. Enjoy no, not really. Freedom, I'm still bored. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts. I'm gonna enjoy it much more after you're dead. Sylphie and Jacques get pulled out of the urn and back into Sylph the library. Sylphie's gonna go back to eating knowledge. Well, I see you guys got out of it. All you really guys boring. see is the urn, Dr. Fate, the the book he was decoding, and the urn on the floor. Would you like to do anything? I'm eating knowledge. You're eating knowledge. <laughs> I'm just going to sit on the floor and use my elongation to start turning my arm into a monkey's fist. Okay. I all right. That ends your part of the game. All right. Uh, but one thing I will say: the reason why they instantly died is because they failed by nineteen. I nineteen I, is. Yeah. I, I figured as soon as the the one appeared on the die, I went, "Oh shit!" <laughs> well, that was a quick game. All right. 
We find the new girl. Near logic? Am I saying that's right? No. Okay, I, I'm gonna take that as a yes. She fully understands the disembodied voice. Hello. <laughs> you are new. However, your game is comprised from the images in your head. You see a light spotlight turn on on top of three cans. As you can see, there are three cans in front of you. One sets you free. The other two, well... Let's just say it's gonna be a real bad time. Well, for you, for me, it's gonna be fun. Roll me. Hmm? She's just kind of like staring at the, at like, the very, wh what is the word, uh, unnecessary fucking, uh, display. <laughs> well, go ahead. Make your choice. Uh, what were the choices? There are three cans. You need to... Pick one. Are there anything, like, is there anything specific about which details? Like, kind of they're, like they're just. Do, do you Battle. want to examine the cans? Yes. Okay. You examine the cans. Each can looks exactly the same. Tin cans that need a can opener to open. Nothing, no labels? No labels, no nothing. It's just a bare metal tin can. Can I pick them up? You can, but be forewarned, you, mo you move from that spotlight, you make your choice. So you can pick it up in the spotlight, but as soon as you leave the spotlight... And it's still in my hand, that would be my choice. That would be your choice. Okay, so as long as I pick it up and put it back down, would it not be my choice? Yes, as long as it's in the spotlight. Okay. Or it, it, as long as it's How in the big are the platforms that they're on? So, the... Spotlight on the platform is about two feet. Um, it's got a two feet circumference. So you have about two feet of light for each can. So each can has its own two feet. Mm -hmm. In any direction. She's going to walk over and weigh just slightly, like barely picking it up and just like kind of weighing to see how much it, uh, like it, how hard it would be to pick them up. Like okay. Kind of, Roll me a precision check. Okay, so your check failed miserably. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell how heavy each can is. You feel like they're all the same. Well, I guess the better way would be that uh, they not be able to be picked up at all. That would be the better way. <laughs> no, you can pick them up. You just can't tell the no, weight of them. Then so there would be... That would make zero sense. But okay, I'll take it. I just said I'd take it. You'll take what can. For a second or third. All of them? Is that an option? No, you cannot take one. <laughs> you must pick one. Um, pick one. Okay. I'll pick the second one. You pick up the number two can. You I didn't pick it up, I just point at it. Well, go ahead. Take no, you just told me to pick one. I'm not picking it up. Take the can, if that's what you pick. No, you told me to pick one. I'm just picking it. Fine, you want to play that way. <laughs> you see a can opener drop in on top of the lid to the second can. I mm -hmm. think you know what to do with that. Mm. She goes and grabs the can opener, but doesn't go to uh, shoot to the second one. She goes to the first one. Oh, okay. Well then. She starts it just the slightest bit. You notice both spotlights of the other cans disappear as if they weren't in the room at all. It is now you and the first can. Mm. Try that stunt again, I dare you. It's just a platform? 
that they're not there at all, like, or she just can't see him. I mean, you could roll a precision check to find out if you want to do that. Sure. Okay, I'll go. You look around, it is just pitch black except for the can and the spotlight on you. Okay. Continues to slowly open the can. Okay. You're, I'm going to roll you a awareness check. Actually, no. I don't like your dice. I don't like your dice. Can I have... Uh... You, you want? I have loose it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Loose. I need you to roll me a die. 19 on the die. 19 on the die. I'm okay. going back to sleep. So you open the can and you just see SpaghettiOs and meatball. Okay. What would you like to do? You're gonna look up around and be like, is there any chance for a spoon or a fork? Oh, I forgot. You see a spoon just land at the SpaghettiOs. Some of it Does gets... it splatter? Because she's literally yes. gonna like throw it. <laughs> yes, it it splatters on her. He lowers the can back to the ground real quick, looks up, and has this annoyed, obvious like look on her face. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Please enjoy your meal, if you dare. Is that all I have to do, is empty the can? You have to eat the contents in the can. Yes. I do? Yes. Eat the can. Eat them? Eat the can? I can eat the can. <laughs> nope, no, eat the spaghettios <laughs> in the can. Is it only one meatball? No, there's more than one. It's a can of spaghettios and meatballs. Again, you, you're just saying one meatball. I, I said meatballs. There's, there's more than no. one. No, you, there is not an S at the end of that. <laughs> there are multiple tiny meatballs in the spaghettios. Fine, fine. <sighs> she picks up the can and takes a bit on the spoon and just lifts it to her mouth to see what it tastes like. Okay. I'm gonna bring Luce back in and Luce, uh, make me another roll, please. Yeah, what? Huh? Sorry, I fell asleep here. Ma make it, make um, it another roll, please. I know I'm boring, but really, Luce? <laughs> 14. Okay. Alright, back to sleep we go. Back to sleep you go. You eat the spaghettios and you find it very tasty. Like what type of tasty. Like it there's nothing wrong with it. It's a perfect can of spaghettios. I she thought this like spaghettios. I thought this was a sick game. It is. Yeah, she doesn't like them. Well, to get out of the room, you see a a light, a spotlight comes on to a red door. You're going to need to find the key. In the spaghettios? That's for you to find out. She dumps the can onto the ground. Okay. Luce, one more time, roll me a, a die. Sorry, I, just, I had to add the family-friendly saw part to this. Come on, man. You Might as well be better. brains. You could do better on your creativity. And... <laughs> Honestly, that, I'm that's confused. A, that's a 13 on the die. I'm confused as well, in all honesty. Like... Oh, you want more horror? As she dumps the cannon, a vial breaks, and a green mist hits your nose. Is this, is this Scarecrow all of a sudden? Am I about to hallucinate? Oh. Careful. Careful with those copyrights, pal. Well now, you notice the can you just dumped starts forming into a monster. Perception check 
to see if her senses are feeling. Okay. Is she still holding it? Lo loose? No, but I'm what? Roll me a die. That's a 15. Back to sleep I go. You notice the, as you dump the can out, your vision starts getting blurry. And you're, you can't believe what you're seeing. The SpaghettiOs is just traveling along the floor and forming this, looks to be like a blob monster made out of SpaghettiOs and meatballs. God. I just want a damn key. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that fucking thing? What the fuck? <laughs> as, as, the monster forms. You see in its hand a rusted, looks like an old medieval key. Drop down the creature's throat. Well, now this just got interesting. I have a question. Do SpaghettiOs count as objects? Yes. Since they're very <coughs> tiny, can she move them apart? In technicality, yes. But you would have to roll to. I need a roll. <laughs> you would have to roll... Uh, you wanted to use telekinesis on it, right? Yeah. Telekinesis is a strength roll. Loose, roll me another die. It's a range so six. So you're telling me she's fighting the, the flying spaghetti monster? That people made a cult of. Whoa, 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 whoa. The flag spaghetti monster's copyright. I can't do that. No. This is a spaghetti oh, so you... monster. Oh, so you care about that copyright, but the scarecrow mist you're not worried about. I, I never said it was scarecrow mist, so you just called it scarecrow mist. Okay. Green mist in a vial. And then she starts seeing the SpaghettiOs monster. Look, Do you not see the issue here? I am just as confused as you are. I like, just need a roll. Yeah. I've had the roll for a while. It was an 20. Hey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you want to play this out? Uh, well, considering, uh... She has perception on her uh, telekinesis and precise. Uh, she just kind of like expands the area between the spaghettios to where the key ends up falling through it. You, you hear a loud roar of pain coming from the monster. Do it again. Do it more. <laughs> She waits until the key clatters on the ground before letting go of the ability. Would you like to pick the key up before doing that? Can I do that? Because I thought that would be like another action. Technically, it's considered a move action to go and walk over and pick up the key afterwards. So, you could do that. But wouldn't it be right underneath the monster? Door, door. Okay. I'll I mean, yes, it. it would be right under it, but that that's a decision you're going to have to make. You've got it held right now. You don't technically have to let it go yet. Exactly. You have a nat 20. Right now, that thing's screaming bloody murder, but, you know. You could probably expand it further. To protect yourself. You can do whatever you want. Just give me the key. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Such decision making for her you own character. You know what? Loose, roll me another 20. Alright, I'll roll you another 20. Funnily enough, it was another 20. Okay. So you jinxed yourself. <laughs> I did jinx myself. While pulling the monster apart and grabbing the key, you'll notice your hold on the telekinesis is starting to slow. You head for the door and unlock it. Popping you out of the urn and seeing both Jacques and Sylphie 
standing in front of you. And Sophie sat down eating a book, so... Well, it, Just... seem, it seems our new friend has gone out of it safely. Who is that? It, child, it, it's me, Dr. Fate. I... That, not everything is about you, egotistic. You asked who I was, or are you asking about... No, the I asked who the new person was. I've met you, Moldy Gold. <laughs> I'm going back to my book. Dr. Fate goes back to decoding the book. You're starting to oh, see the book I... is starting to change colors as he's decoding. Oh, so I don't get an answer of who that is. I see how it is. She understood none of the things that were being spoken the moment she Missed. left there, and so she's kind of just like, yeah, chilling now. <laughs> Sophie's just like staring confusedly. She'll stare right back. Okay. Are you also staring confusedly? Yes. <laughs> then we seem to be met at a standstill. Jock is just going to inspect the new person. Okay. Just looking at them like, hmm. Advantages of this person. You, you I don't fucking know. You, basically, a... Jacques is also staring confusedly. <laughs> Roll me a perception <laughs> check, Josh. Prolonged eye contact. Prolonged eye contact. <laughs> My God. No, don't do it anymore. We need to preserve our ad revenue. Perception. <laughs> <laughs> ah, one of the best things I have. Thank you, Jace. That's a 30. Okay. <laughs> As you look upon the new girl, you see that she is scared, but not threatening. She's more confused at what is going on. She's also very Same. thin. And also very thin. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to lightly like, oh pet God. this child did on you, the head. Oh my God, narrator. Did you need to manner. add that after she did? Um, did, did you need to do that? It's part of my job. No, it's fucking not. Okay. Ah, uh, back to the interaction. Thank you. Fine. All right. All right. I'm going to dork. Roll hmm. me a. Hmm. I, w I want you to roll something for me. <coughs> She wants to dodge. She does not like people touching her. Roll me a, a an agility oh, check. Actual dice. All right, who's gonna roll for me this time? Do you want me to roll for you I again? Okay. No, I guess Luna's gonna try his hand. Wow, the one time my luck doesn't pop in. I knew this was gonna I'm fucking sorry. happen. I knew I'm this was sorry. gonna fucking happen. It's a fucking two. Okay. You see of the- Of course it's when you get head pat. The, the bloody figure reach its hand out and try to pet you. You're terrified, but oddly okay with it. No, she is not oddly okay with it. <laughs> She's just frozen in fear. Yeah, frozen in fear would be better. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. With that, we go on to our next game. Oh no. Okay. Roscoe, you ready for this? You find yourself, Roscoe, in a dark room. It lights up, it looks like... I'm going to need the cool narrator for this. Cooler narrator, uh, are you with me? I'm gonna need yeah, you. Yeah, sorry. Are, are, you, are you failing again? No, I'm more confused. I'm gonna hand you the script for a second. Yeah, hand it over. Let me see what, let me see what you're working with. I sure hope Maxwell didn't put the fucking monkeys back on payroll. I'm sorry. I, am I reading this right? It looks like uh, a I'll... tournament style arena like in dragon ball 
So you're telling me we've gone into fucking the, the tournament of power mixed with fucking Pokemon Stadium? Yeah, I, that, that's what you're telling me. I, I'm glad we're both on the same page here, because I'm even fucking confused. So how the fuck are we supposed to introduce this Undertaker? Is yeah. this our personal hell? Because this guy is having more issue than I am. Well, then let me explain. As you can see, Dude. Rasko is a little harder to um, get a game. So... I doesn't seem right at all. Like it. What? What is this? It's, honestly, this. <laughs> Are you just gonna have him fight to the death against a bunch of random things and basically a Pokemon battle with his familiar? Who? Aren't you the smart one? I'm, I, I'm literally reading the script. I'm going to change the familiar. Again, Pokemon Stadium. I, I mean, yeah, this, this, we could get sued for this. Oh. Seriously. Oh, Maxwell. Be careful, man. Maxwell's got enough money. We got this. No, no, he fucking doesn't. Not with how much shit this person's putting on his hand. <sighs> I swear to God, I see a new maid every fucking your, day. Your familiar appears in front of you. Is that it? What, 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 what do you like to do? What, I, that, that's where the script ends. Oh, oh you have the wrong Wait. script, I see. All right. Let me come Unfortunately. in. Unfortunately. <laughs> no. So, Roscoe is just gonna look around. Uh, obviously confused with what's happening since everyone seems to be confused. Uh, then he realizes something. Wait. No. No, no, no. The, the, no. We can't have this happen right here. No, you realize what you've done? <laughs> I told you no. I'd test you. You don't... It, you don't understand what you've just done. You sent me here, and that caused... And in the distance, you just see... A amalgamation of nothing but Stardust slowly take form. Uh, his familiar oh, just this work in your... Well then, this narrator. is gonna be fun. Narrator, um, how did we? How did this work out in his favor? Like I saw this coming in the script, I, but I, I did not see what his reaction was going to be. I I don't. I don't know. I'm scared. I mean, I've seen it happen before, but like... Now I want to kill him. <sighs> you... You've caused an echo to follow me. Why? <laughs> it seems you've got... ...of your own problems. Maybe some unresolved look like it, huh? past, perhaps. I think you. You are going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, right after that, Rusk is just going to swing his sword in the air. You're just going to see a crescent of just energy fly at it. Uh, as soon as it makes contact with it, the cosmic energy just seems to swirl around this amalgamation and just completely pound right into it and this amalgamation slowly takes form what is now taken form as there's Roscoe down there and right here <laughs> oh if only we didn't get copyrighted I'd be playing man in the mirror Why, wait, why did you say that in the past? You mean we've already been copyright struck? F fuck! Honestly, 
I didn't think it would take that long for it to happen, actually. Um, I thought I was making sure that everything was, like, separated correctly, but oh my god. I mean, I guess it would make sense. I mean, we're okay for now. Uh, I mean, I mean, true. It, for now, we've got some time. Well then, Roscoe, your game is you have to defeat yourself. Oh, but I did add something. Do you know how in Dragon Ball the rules state if you go out of bounds, you fail? Same rules apply here. However, Every time you get knocked out of the arena, I break a limb. You know, I was hoping for a monopoly instead of this, but I guess this works. So I, I think I'm just gonna really quickly take your script and trade it for this one so that I don't have Maxwell on my ass. Okay, narrator? Oh, oh. I had a, I had a look over it. Oh, good, good, good for you. Have fun now. I'm going to go take a nap. Good luck with that. Hopefully it'll be my last. Don't leave me. Okay, Roscoe. Roll for initiative. This is a combat situation. I'm going to need you to roll that. Uh, I rolled an 18. Rolled an 18. Okay, you're going first. What do you want to do? Uh, how far away is my doppelganger? Your doppelganger is about six feet away. Six feet? Six feet. You guys are in the center of the arena, six feet apart. The arena is about... Um, Four yards squared. So it's four uh, yards. So you guys have plenty of room to cause mayhem and destruction. However, there is a black void around the arena. So be, be forewarned. Uh, I guess I'm just going to attack it with a melee attack. All right. Roll me in a, uh, a fighting. Uh, I rolled a 24. 24. Gets this fortitude. Alright. You failed. He got a net... Your doppelganger got a net 20. The... I... Can I just call this the negative Roscoe? If this isn't the actual Roscoe... Fine. However you want to call it. Alright then. I was hoping for like announcing and... Like pro wrestling style. Oh right. That, that, that was a thing. Fine. I'll make it sound good. Ladies and gentlemen! The... Negative Roscoe dodges the attack! And in response... Goes for a reaction to try and grab you. Grab the regular Roscoe. Roll a, um, a dodge roll for me. Uh, that's the nat 20, so 26. The Oh no, it's acrobats, my bad. Yeah, 26, <laughs> regardless. The normal Roscoe realizes what's happening and dodges the grab. This is getting very intense, people. I swear I hope I'm doing this right. Good God. Now I see why everyone hates you. Brasco, it is your turn to make an attack. Oh, no. No, it's negative. It's negative. Uh, he's going to swing at you. So I'm going to roll for fighting. That is a 23. Roll me a fortitude check. Uh, wow, Jesus, that's a 27. Okay. So you take nothing. Right? Yeah. Because it was a 
23, you got 27, yeah. That's, that's nothing. The Dig of Roscoe swings his sword, but it doesn't do damage? Wait, what? That, that wasn't supposed to happen. Damn it! You hear a snap of a finger from the disembodied voice? Wait, wait, whoa, wait, hey, 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 wait a minute. You're giving the negative a weapon. Hey, my game, my rules. I want to see blood. All right. Do your worst negative. All right, then. Roscoe, you see, you see the... Native Roscoe, get a new shiny sword. Your move, Roscoe. What do you want to do? Uh, first of all, he's going to say, this is just stupid. And he's just going to try to hit it. He's going to try to hit Okay, roll me a, uh, a fighting. Uh, stupid. Uh, 23. 23. That will hit. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe my eyes. Roscoe actually hit the negative, and the negative has gone flying. Hits the ground about a yard away from the the edge of the arena. Well, now we're talking. Give me more. The... The negative right now um, has a negative two on its uh, attack roll or defensive rolls from right now from that attack because how badly it failed. It is now. How much did he fail by? He failed. He got a fifteen. Well, he rolled oh. a fifteen. Plus the seven, that's a twenty-two. Oh, he just failed by one. Yeah, he just has a minus one. Yeah. Okay, minus one. Right. <laughs> the the negative Roscoe goes and charges for an attack, a return attack. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna uh, Roscoe roll me. A response check. So that'd be an agility check, I believe. No, dexter is it dexter dexterity check. Uh a twenty. Nat twenty or just twenty in general? Twenty. Okay. So you get to do a response cause um yeah. Native Roscoe rolled a nat one. I am allowing you to do whatever you want as a response to this attack. Uh, range attack. Go for a range attack. Okay. Uh, roll me. That's a dexterity roll. So roll me another dexterity. Uh, that is. 19. Corner two. Good thing I'm not using this dice for Maxwell right now. Because this would be bad. So. Do you want to describe your attack? Because this is another nat one. Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait. How much did it... He has... Eight four to two. Like a fucking dead. Uh, he's just gonna swing in the air, just aggressively, and just hit him square in the chest. By hitting him square in the chest, it breaks the negative sword, cutting him open, and he goes flying out of the arena. Well, that was impressive, but there's one more thing to. You. There are two doors appear in the middle of the arena, in front of Roscoe. 
One of these doors allows you to help another one of your companions with their game. The other one leads you to the exit. But for warning, if your companion fails and you leave the world, their soul <laughs> uh, well, let's let the dice decide. Alright then, go ahead. Um Yeah, I rolled I rolled high enough. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go help the others. He's gonna help the other player. You take the door with the blue hand blue and gold handle. Opens, and you are brought into a room with Gilgamir. Hi, Aiden. Gilgamir, your room <laughs> lights up, and you are sitting at what looks to be a game board. The man known as Undertaker appears in front of you on the other side. Well, well, well. Now we get to Mr. Cocky. It's not cockiness. I just know that I'm better. It's <laughs> not my fault you can't accept it. Well, let's test your limits. <laughs> my wits, wow. The Undertaker snaps his fingers and chest pieces appear on board. Seeing as you are a being <laughs> that's been around probably since this game has been invented. Actually, I've been around prior to it, but... So you know how to play. Play what? chess, right? Let's, yes, let's play a game. However, <laughs> I would be careful about which pieces So you see, Gilgamir, make a precision, uh, perception check. Okay. Uh, nat 20. Okay. <laughs> this entire night is just not going for Jace, is it? No, no, it, it's fine. <laughs> Gilgamir notices the pieces <laughs> look exactly like the rest of the team. Gilgamir being the king. Nothing new there. <laughs> Sylphie being He may the intentionally queen. sacrifice Jacques' peace. <laughs> Jacques being both the rook. The new girl being the bishops, and Maxwell being the knights. The only one that you do not see on the board is Roscoe. You still want to play? I like to see. You didn't, well, no, you mentioned the little girl was the bishops. Yes, the new girl was the bishop. Oh, new girl. Yes. So, these are, um, seem to be a shorter person. Oh, yes, that's right. You're forgetting your friend with the uh, magical head. <laughs> no, no, you know, there, that's, no, that's not what I mean, no, but, okay. Oh, what did you mean? You brought everyone in, and you are you really just not doing a head count, or are, are you just not wanting to get like cancel cultured or something? What, what's going on here? <laughs> Whatever do you mean? There was only six of you that came into the earth. Okay, so let's do a head count real quick. 
Vile Blood, Maxwell, New Girl. That's three right there, right? Mm hmm. Then there's me. And then there's Roscoe over here. That's. That's five. You're short on number six. No. Luce is the queen. Or Sylvie you didn't specify queen. that. Yes, you I never did. said that. I no, did. you didn't. I did say that. Sylvie was the queen. No, if you did, it never got picked up. Okay. And, and I didn't hear it through Discord. <laughs> okay. Well, Sylphie is the queen. The only one that is in peace is Roscoe. And I've granted him one chance to save one of you. And this is the game. So, the both of you will have to work together to beat me in this game. But like I said, this game could be at a cost. I mean, I actually, like, out of character, I kind of have the advantage here because I have the, I have, um, the advantage called assessment. <laughs> okay. So I actually have some benefits here because <laughs> I can technically use that to discern the best moves. You could. <laughs> now, every time I take a piece, you lose. I take their soul. But if you win the game, everyone's spared, except for the last one who's in my bed. Okay. No. I don't I'm... know, but it's getting tiresome. No, I'm more of a Monopoly kind of guy. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't get Monopoly. Toys R Us closed down about two weeks. Years ago. Just throwing this out there, is it me, Roscoe, or is he really just working off a strained budget or something? As you should have seen mine. I am going to change who goes first. I mean, we never decided it in the first place, so okay. I shall go first. Okay. Good for you. You're taking the disadvantage. How courteous of you. I will move the night pawn up to your The mind. night pawn? Yes. I don't think you know chess. The pawn Those are two the, different pieces. The you pawn that's night in front pawn. of the night. But you said night pawn. <laughs> Yes, the knight's pawn. The pawn that's in front of the knight. Yeah, that's actually an important point. <laughs> Your move, Golden. Again, you never specified which knight where it didn't get picked up at least. The king's knight. So the knight closest to the king. Which side is the... Okay. <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I really don't know. You know, I mean, I, I got to pull out a chessboard. Is... Hold on. <laughs> God. I was gonna say, is his is his is his method of winning be too stupid to interpret, or? <laughs> okay. Luce said to unmute you for a second. Unmute them for a second. <sighs> okay. How about I pull up a chessboard and I stream it into the Discord call? <laughs> That wouldn't be a bad idea! Okay, Does fine. that sound like a good idea, James? Go for it. I have I have a, a simulated board. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, you never thought we would actually play a go into a podcast and actually have to play a game of chess. Th this was the game I thought of for you. That's why I did it. Because I'm like, I know. Why? Well, because of the intellect stat? Like I said, my assessment gives me a proper <laughs> advantage in this. Because a part, a part of knowing chess is assessing the board and figuring out what would be the best move. Taking, meaning I can take the intellect completely out of the equation. 
because as you were willing to put it, I've been around before the game was even invented, so I've had ample time to mess with it. Well, let's see how well your chess play is. Okay. I'm going to end up doing assessment for each move, which means every time I do figure out a move, I'm getting a plus 10. Okay. <laughs> I think no matter what, I'm going to have some outstanding moves. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just going to tell you the, the pawn where it moved. You said it moved up too, so. So, it's pawn to b4. On to B4. Right. Sorry. So. I mean, you don't even have it fully streamed on Discord quite yet. I don't know, because I'm trying to get this work. Mm. I. I'll stream mine, so this way you can see the blue one. Yeah, do that. Because mine's okay. not working because of lag. Are we literally playing. Ch oh my god. We we're are literally, literally playing, playing chess. chess. I don't know why, but we are. So. Pawn to B4. Oh, so you're running white, really? <laughs> That's how chess works. <laughs> Color white. That's how chess works. White goes first. I thought you said you were right changing the rule. <laughs> Who goes first? Therefore, True. I'd be using True. white. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it does have you there. <laughs> so it would be... Pawn to, to B5. B6, five, yeah. <laughs> uh, amazing so far, I gotta say. <laughs> Alright. Your move, Goldie. So am I going to be doing my assessment roll to figure out the best move, or...? You can roll for an assessment, yeah. I cannot pull up your character sheet right now, but yeah, you can do that. I get a plus 10, because I'm using Insight. actually have that roll and not go off into the... Okay. Come on! Roll! I have an entire... Cut, like, scrap together set to make this work. Okay! That's, um... 26. Okay. Total. So... Here's the thing about your assessment roll. I'm going to mm -hmm. tell you the next move that he will make. Okay. Every time you succeed. So since you've succeeded... His next move is bishop to a six. Do with that information what you want. Okay. Well, in that case, so you're at five. We can have some fun with this. I got it set up. Cool. So if memory serves me, crown, uh, the pointy crown is king, correct? Yes. Okay, Means... quickly. Jace, remind me where we are. Okay, so... Like, what are we on the board? Right now, the board is... Pawn to b5. That's the only move that's happened right now. Okay, so that is b pawn moving up too? Yes. Cool. It's gonna have to be white because I can't switch around which one is which. That's fine. The audience will know it's... Black. Cancel cancel your share screen. Thank you. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we can all see. Just one print of Roscoe's just gonna be like, oh my this is so boring. I never said it was gonna be entertaining for you. You never said it would actually you said this would actually be a challenge and issue and like nightmare. Well who is who has a do you have a phobia of chess or something? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Because this isn't scaring me in the slightest. I Half the people you're putting at risk, I don't care about. <laughs> One of which I wouldn't mind at all going. <laughs> well, that's your decision. Like I said. So, but you're missing the point here. This was supposed to be, you said this was supposed to be a nightmare and frightening challenge. Uh, but clearly, if, if neither me or Roscoe here are frightened or considering this bad, there's only one other person here who could, and that's you. <laughs> Oh, how naive. The fact that you are flipping out at a nearly game. It's not that I'm flipping out. I'm just finding it hilarious how this is just completely underwhelming. <laughs> well, it's your move, Goldie. What do you do? 
see now that things inverted and I don't have the numbers to go by. Um, Queen's Knight, uh, four, two, and and then one. So, so uh, which way is queen, it going? Left so, or right? right. right we'll so, left or right? I was gonna say wait, wait, because because you said at my were the black. Right. right. Yes. So. <laughs> so left, or right. Left. Left. Right. That's the right spot, right? Correct. Cool. Worst case scenario, I see a reset button right there, so... Yeah, true. I will move my bishop. Actually, I'm going to roll. See if give I can... Me, give me one second. The best part is I'm actually not half bad at chess, so this is actually playing in my favor. <laughs> um, I'm not Gilgamir, great at it, but I'm... Roll this? me an awareness check. Oh, is he going to start cheating the pieces? I, I swear. Yes, yes, he is. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to reroll this since that bounced right over the court. Come okay. on. What? Okay. I, I missed my original setup when my desk tray worked. Okay, so 14 total, unfortunately. Okay, so... Would have had some better rolls, but the dice just decided to not... Do what go a correct route. So the mm. Undertaker actually figured out that you anticipated his move, his next move. So he is changing it. He is taking the bishop and putting it in front of his knight where the pawn was. Okay. I see you're trying to read me. You're not hard. You're literally a pop-up book to me. Hmm. Literally, I've had. There's been stuff carved into stone walls that are harder to read than you, and they're mil thousands of years old. Like you, seriously. Well, that I may as well pull out a book and read while I'm doing this. Probably be more entertaining. It should be a little more challenging at the very least. It's the equivalent of having one hand tied after that, but that doesn't really matter because it's stinking chess. What's your move? Loose. Yes. You forgot to move the bishop. Yeah. Where did you move the bishop? In front, In front of, of the, the knight. knight. There you go. I was trying to figure out my Discord settings. Moving the knight the same amount, the same direction. Real okay. quick, I'm gonna make a, another awareness roll. Okay. Well, not, not not awareness, um, uh, assessment. Okay. Where did my dice go? Oh, okay. Now it's on the floor, I guess. Well, you know, it actually still rolled even when it hit the floor, so I guess I may as well take it. Um, twenty-eight. <laughs> okay. If it had just landed and stopped, I would have re-rolled it, but the fact that it just kept going and I just don't feel like fighting it that much like I did earlier. <laughs> so, the move... The next move for The Undertaker. So, it's going to be Knight to C3. Remind me, is there a current soul attached to the Knight, or...? So, there are souls connected to the to the main pieces not to the pawns well not important people but so maxwell would be one of the pawns no <laughs> wow <laughs> maxwell maxwell I'm sorry. Is how much has he contributed lately <laughs> maxwell is one of the knights so there's no worry of collateral then ouch <laughs> again how much has Maxwell contributed as of late, aside from obliterating two henchmen? So, Maxwell is the knights. Both knights are taken out. Maxwell's soul is in danger. Okay. If both rooks go, Jacques' soul is in danger. So I know which ones to sacrifice. Gotcha. <laughs> the bishops are the new girl. The one with absolutely no connection otherwise. Okay. Right. And the queen is Sylphie. So the piece that literally would result in me losing. Okay. No, the piece that would result to you losing is the king, and that is you. 
you, you okay? You understand how losing both results in a well, like, it, never mind. Wait, I thought Roscoe was a piece as well. I mean, actually, that's a valid point. He, you never said he was. You said he was still just standing there with me. There's only five special pieces. The pawn is the sixth piece. Oh, so, so. I mean, it's probably just sitting there like. I guess I guess he did say that Roscoe wasn't a piece. Yeah. So wait, Gilgam is gonna go away. So just okay. So he's gonna speak up and say, "Hey, so real quick, naturally being one of the pieces, technically speaking, but not actually, I can't really move my spot unless I follow the rules, right?" Right. But he's not actually a piece, so he doesn't. Right. Who the Undertaker? And he's pointing at Roscoe. Roscoe is not any of the pieces, no. So therefore, he's not going to really help any of their rules. Interesting thought. Cool. Hey, Roscoe! Mm. Go knock over all the other pieces for me, would you mind? You'd make this go by real quick. Wait. Knock over the I king think... and queen specifically, so we automatically win. No. You know, last time I remember about chess, uh... You have to call check. Well, you can't move his king anywhere, so that's checkmate already. Yeah. So therefore, you just knock over his pieces, and we win, right? Yeah. You want to go do that then? Sure. Uh, All right. He's gonna teleport <laughs> over to the king and just immediately slash at it. Okay. Roll me an attack roll. <laughs> you specifically stated that he was not a piece, so he is not required to adhere to any rules. Right. There you go. Uh, He's an automatic win if I use him. <laughs> right. I got a 24. You got a 24. <laughs> Nat 20. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh no is right. Well, you want to try to cheat my game. I was being I mean, nice. I'm not really cheating the game. I'm not actually doing anything wrong. He's not a part of the game. He can do what he likes. Ah, but Roscoe was only supposed to help you win. And since you want yes, to try and, I was just... and force okay, me question. to see. Question. Um, you said he only has, he's only supposed to help me win. How does this not count towards that classification? That's trying to whip by cheating. You didn't oh, say that wasn't game. allowed. Therefore, you know. My game, my rules. Congratulations. Did Your rules did didn't specify. <laughs> He did ask you about your rules specifically and whether or not this could happen, and all your your entire response was, "He's not a piece, therefore can be assumed as a yes, therefore not cheating." Exactly. I mean, he does have a point. Yeah, entirely. This isn't cheating if I checked it. I gave you the equivalent of "Are you sure?" and you said yes, anyways. You've also this is specified. On you. You've also specified that Roscoe is only here to help him win. This is yes. helping him win. Yeah, I hate chess. <laughs> well, Roscoe, you'll like this one better. The yeah, Undertaker right I didn't know you were on his, his side. Finger. Roscoe goes through another door. Now. Oh, so I just got Roscoe taken away. Okay. <laughs> I'm not opening up a board of Monopoly. Now. We play. Your move, Goldie. Hmm. What, another question. Yeah. Would you say the powers of each part are technically still present? No. I see, you're actually starting to gain some intelligence. Only the souls of your companions are in peace. I was gonna say, technically speaking, Jock, you're saying you these are representations. you can't hear this. Shock. So, you can't Gilgamir, hear this. Gilgamesh is going to continue going. Technically speaking, you said these are embodiments of their soul, correct? Right. It's fair to say that the part that myself being a soul and I still have my powers, fair to say they would as well, yeah? <laughs> the silence. <laughs> Gilgamesh, I know exactly where you're going with this. Yes. But I'm waiting for the in-game rationality that allows him to BS his way out of this, and if he can't give it, I'm taking the advantage. 
I'm gonna make you roll for it. Ooh. What am I rolling? What am I rolling? Okay, you're gonna try to make a portal to. Oh, oh, that's me. John, I have the dice ready if you need me. Um. Go for I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll gladly take you up on that. Roll me a precision check. Ask Jace. A precision check. Mm-hmm. What is a <laughs> What is a precision check exactly? Okay. I see what? a presence, a persuasion, and a perception. I do not see a per, a precision. Now, oh, one thing we'll say, sorry. Jason, where are you getting precision from? You keep sorry. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm kind of inquiring. Like, I don't see such a stat here, so can you please explain what you mean by that? Roll me to a presence fair. check. Sorry, presence check. Presence check. Oh, you mean one of my better stats? <laughs> if, uh, oh, that's whether or not it's one of your better stats may not matter if he says yes. Is Luce allowed to roll for me? Yes. Cool. What's the roll? <laughs> that roll is a yes. So it's a 26 total then if it's a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and do your turn. I'm allowed to attack proper, yeah? You're allowed to attack proper, yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Or, so, seeing look, as but, these are non, these pieces aren't technically conscious, so they can't technically dodge. <laughs> or let, let let me put it this way: you're allowed to use your portals to win. I know. I'm getting to that. Okay. Considering these are technically inanimate objects until he physically moves them on his turn. Right. I technically automatically hit. <laughs> Correct. So if I fire two, my uh, both the king and the queen simultaneously, and they both simultaneously hit... <laughs> Are you saying take your pieces and hit his pieces? I'm to... saying using my power to take his king and queen out simultaneously. Okay. I'm going to roll a fortitude check. Do I need to roll against that? Or... No, nope. your, your roll with the it automatically hits. It automatically yeah. hit. So what number are you trying to beat then? Trying to beat the weapon DC. The the uh presence check, which was twenty six. So he got a oh. nineteen against your twenty six. Great, Oof. so both pieces are gone then. I win. They've been obliterated. <laughs> So, and a, a tiny portal appears with, am I reading this right? Yeah, you are. I'm surprised you didn't see this coming, you so. He, You're going to go, I was like, oh, come on now. It's my, it's my favorite pass. How, how did you get risk pieces that <laughs> living, <laughs> what? Risk pieces. <laughs> That part I'm confused about. Wait, we let this slide in the script. Yes, we did, apparently. So... I I swear to God, if you hired the same fucking scriptwriter that you did last episode... I have something to say after I win. What happens <laughs> is these Risk players take a cannon and fire the king off of the board. And what about the queen? Jesus Christ. Well, I don't think it matters at this point. The king's Take it off the board, you win. Okay, so Gilgamesh is gonna look so, up to look up at that real one quick. Before... I do want to say something funny though. Oh. Gilgamesh is gonna look up and saying, "By the way, did I mention I helped write the rules of chess?" Well so... played. <laughs> You're telling me that we just had a risk uprising? Yes. I I think so. I'm I'm not really sure. Not this being your. I don't think even the Undertaker was expecting that one. So Gilgamesh is gonna, then actually going to start laughing and say, I believe you said something about this being your urn, your rules. Seems like that's not the case, huh? 
you probably shouldn't have picked a fight with me. So I'll be dealing with you as soon as I leave. Bye. Well done. You've earned your freedom. Frankly, you, know, really? you never... You, you never... On some I mean, technically speaking, you never took it. <laughs> this was a fun distraction, though. I'll give you that. I got a good laugh at your stupidity. Gilgamir reappears in the library. Oh, hey, everyone. In front of everyone. Oh, look, the golden retriever is back. Wonderful. The idiot thought he could best me in chess. Could you believe that, Vile Blood? <laughs> I'm surprised mm, you won, honestly. I'm I, honestly not going to lie. I'm surprised as well. I was hoping I mean, I go, hope for... Hi, I mean, go, go. Hi. To be fair, oh. I helped write the rules of chess, so this was kind of a one-sided deal. Yeah. Also, he was very nondescript with his rules, so I just really just beat him over the head with that and decided just to say to hell with his piece. And won. Automatically. You broke okay. He's going to be stupid enough not to set rules in a technical fashion. Deal with the consequences. I had to okay. move the child's body so that she didn't die. Well... I There's still two of you left. I hope they both get out. In all honesty, though, like I'm sorry, Jace, but my time with Luce as the DM has caused me to be like this. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> if you're not specific, I'm taking advantage. <laughs> I spent over a year with that being the drilled mentality. The ones in the library all noticed that the book is now shaking and firing off random colors of light into the room. That's mildly disturbing. I it's mean, supposed to do that. More, more, like, I'm not worried yet. At the very least, it's more entertaining than that stupid chess match. I mean, it's more entertaining than looking at your ugly ass face. It is time for the final game. Actually, oh, I am going to need all. Of and you how for they the get out of that? Oh, sorry, what? Oh, we're gonna need all of us for this game. Mm -hmm. Why does oh. Max? Are you are you worried that you're gonna lose Maxwell with your rolls this time? No. <laughs> well, there's a way for Maxwell to lose, but there's a way that. What if you could help him win? I feel like Gilgamir may be a set option right here. <laughs> I, I feel like this is a I feel like this is a case of Jace realizing that anytime he's actually playing his character, his roles are garbage. Mm -hmm. I mean his roles haven't been the greatest this entire session, let's be honest. Session All right. series is more like it. We find Maxwell. Appearing into a dark room. A portal opens with a door and Roscoe appears next to it. Should have been Monopoly. I hope it is Monopoly. The lights light up and it's a very familiar room to Jace. Uh, to Maxwell. Sorry. <laughs> Wow! Yeah. Well, wow! Wow! wow. Well, you got, you got the I name wrote. You got the creator of the <laughs> show, not the... That, that's you got the wrong person. How do you Send manage? How do you okay. manage to fuck okay. up this badly? Seriously. Seriously. They're like, come on, yeah. man. I, I, I have to, I have to agree with the Undertaker here. That's just fucking terrible, mate. Yeah. That's just, uh, like I haven't even gotten to the fun part. And you've already fucked it up this badly. I. I'm Jesus sorry. Christ. I'm sorry. Based on what I've had to deal with, there's an actual fun part to this. So. Okay, I'm gonna need you guys to chillax. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to roll. All right. Oh, oh, R R Roscoe, you're gonna need to help. You're gonna need to help. <laughs> okay. So Maxwell. is brought back to a moment in his his past. Well, it seems both of us have met before. 
Oh my gosh, I think I know where this is going. You leave them out of this. <laughs> Haven't you learned the first time you faced Legion? Or should I remind you? Don't you dare. Roscoe, roll me a initiative. Roll for initiative. Okay. I was say that was a long pause for that. I know. I, I was. I was looking. Oh, this, uh... Undertaker's starting to rub yeah. off on them. I got twenty-one. <laughs> okay. Roscoe, you're going first. Then the Undertaker. Then Maxwell. Roscoe, I'm going to give you some insight. So, Maxwell is about to relive a horror that he has been afraid of since he created the new team. Your objective is to get him through the game without him A, losing his mind, or B, breaking down and accepting that it was his fault. Okay, this is starting to go a different route. Uh, is there anyone else besides us? At certain times, each of the other team members are going to roll a presence check. I will tell you when. I'm not going to be of help here. I actually will for a change. To try and help with the situation. <laughs> and I will get to that when it comes to pass. I want to say it's a bit ironic how I'm going to have the best odds of helping this along, and I'm probably the least like person when it comes to Ma Maxwell. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's a bit of irony there. Okay. It's okay. All right. Uh, after the initiate, uh, the initiative roll. Initiation. <laughs> initiation roll. <laughs> Maxwell starting to see in front of him. Well, you and Ross, Roscoe, Maxwell and Roscoe, both see a man in red and gold armor, bald head. Standing in front of a group of four other heroes. Well, well, well. Maxwell, Maxwell, Maxwell. It seems that you have demons in your closet. And this one is going to make you face them. I told you to stay out of it. <laughs> I'm going to make you relive the night. Your original round table was slaughtered in front of you. If you survive or are able to save your original team, well. <laughs> You can leave with your soul. But lose, submit all, except the fact that it was your fault. Your soul is mine. It really is the definition of ignorance is bliss. This, this just got really dark. Yeah, this is not, I'm gonna be honest. I, w I was kind of confused when he said Little Shop of Horrors at the start. I was going to say. I'm starting to get it. I was going to say, I feel like we figured out where all the budget went. Your move, Max. Roscoe, it is your turn. What do you want to do? Uh. Do I see anyone trying to attack 
or right now you see four heroes ready to attack this one dude in golden and red you don't know you have an idea of who this golden red dude is but you don't know why this team is about to attack him. Look at me, I told you to stop fighting random heroes. I'm not really uh, Well, I do suppose I am wearing some red. My armor's gold. I I guess I'm gonna fight I'm one not of bald. the heroes, I guess. Wait. You're supposed okay. to be helping the heroes, I thought. Wait, well, no, no, no. I, I'm confused. I'm just confused. No, I, I want you to decide what you're going to do. Because Maxwell is going to react to what you're doing. So... Right now, here's the thing. Maxwell is only seeing the four heroes. He's not seeing what you're doing. Okay. Until you out there, make an action. Could have sworn Roscoe was there to hear that entire conversation, though, wasn't he? He he heard the conversation. He understands what what's going on. So he should he, know to help the heroes then, he, right? That's Roscoe's choice. He could decide to knock out the yeah, heroes. Yeah, I'm going to hit the person in the armor. The gold armor? Okay, make an attack roll. Ninja attack. That's a crit. That is a crit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By oh. making the ranged attack, the man in the gold armor doesn't see the attack happen, but just sees an energy blast hitting him. Oh, how dare you, you insolent team. That that wasn't any of us. I... Wait. You know what? I'm glad that happened. I'm tired of your shit, Legion. Oh, no. Oh, no. You just see Maxwell just shaking his head. You see the first hero, dressed in blue, charge at Legion. Wait, no! Logan! Maxwell Logan is going to try to make a save roll. Um, roll agility to make a save roll to try to stop Logan. Okay, that's an 18. Is this going to be the one instance where Maxwell actually gets good rolls? Oh, maybe. <laughs> I would laugh if that was the case. Right now, it is a... 18 plus 7. That's 25. Okay. Okay, he succeeds. You see Maxwell jump in front of Logan. Maxwell, what are you doing? Listen to me, we got to retreat. If we don't retreat, he's gonna kill us all. We have him here, Maxwell. We have him here, we can beat him. Well, well, well. Roscoe, you have a decision. This is where you come into play. So, you have a choice. Try to convince the team to not fight Legion and get Maxwell out. Or you can cause Maxwell more pain, more pain. I have a better idea. Uh, I'm going to teleport to Legion. Okay. And I'm going I'm to do a grab attack. Okay. Roll me a fighting for the grab. Oh, no, no, it's a strength wow. roll. Strength roll. I wrote a crit. <laughs> oh my okay. Gosh. You grab. What is the session? <laughs> you grab Legion. You now have Legion in your clutches, and Legion sees you. Hey, what the hell? Oh, you call for real. You call for real. He, tell... he teleports away with him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome! The rest of the group is looking confused. Wait, what? What just happened? 
are we just gonna have the rest of the new team circle around and curb stomp them now? Or... <laughs> by uh, by see, the distance, I can teleport. Is by teleporting a... Legion out of the area, Maxwell's brother Logan looks at Maxwell. What did you do? What do you mean, what did I do? Where did he go? I told you we should retreat. We can regroup. We can... Oh, right. We can regroup. So, this was your plan all along, right? What do you mean? See, it wasn't enough that you decided to marry my ex. But now you're setting us into a trap. You think I'm oh, that? Oh, 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 you think I'm geez. that petty? <laughs> oh, this is getting good. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like Maxwell is always overall not that bright. Just throwing that out there. It's not Maxwell uh, that's saying all this. It's yeah, you know, but it's his history that's getting it's bled into. That's getting bled into. I guess. So. <laughs> Therefore, yeah, that's what I'm commenting on not being very smart. <laughs> What did you say, uh, Triv? Is it still on turn order, or does it not matter? Right now, you you got teleported out of the Earth. So by teleporting Legion out, you technically succeeded at the game, but Maxwell didn't. Ooh. But wait, then there, there's nothing left to kill them. <laughs> mm. Wait, I think I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. There is still the rest of us to intervene, isn't there? You said the rest wait, of us. John, wait, wait, John, John. John. Shush, wait. shush. Are we getting to that? Shush. Roscoe appears in front of everyone. Confused and wondering where Maxwell is. Is he still holding Legion? <laughs> no, Legion has disappeared. Is he holding on he's to hold thin air? He's holding on to a doll that looks like Legion and none of us know what's going on with it. No, it's a plushie of Legion. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so... Rashko is just gonna say, "Oh look, I did." Oh wait, what? <laughs> where's where is he? Where's who? Oh no, I forgot his name already. Maxwell. All right. Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he oh, apparently right. is your all leader, right. and you don't know. All right. That's what his name is. That I means Maxwell's name. still in the end. What happened? I. I grabbed the dude. I assume he was about to do something bad. I teleported and I, I'm i out here now. I don't know you why. Know, you know, in hindsight, this would have worked if you grabbed Maxwell now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, why did you <laughs> grab Maxwell? Actually, that would have worked for Gilgamesh. Why didn't I think of that? That's... I, how was I supposed to know it was going to work? I was what going to work? You're Just talking like a man. Teleporting magic. out. Gilgamesh is going to like, actually, that would have been that. I mean, I could, but I still wanted to just prove he was an idiot, so. Mm. What fair. was going on in the end? A uh, bunch of dudes about to fight a bigger dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, well. So, so our entire life story got it. What is yeah, that's not about what, right. What's with the plushie of Professor Xavier's son? I have many questions I... about that. <laughs> what? What? Where did I get this? Where did this come from? It's okay. <laughs> Tell us. It's okay to be a fanboy. You don't have to worry about that. Who is this? <laughs> that is Legion. Oh, so that was the big dude. Well, Can I eat him? It's a plushie. It's a plushie of Legion. Can I eat it? Dr. Fake grabs the, the plushie. It just seems is, uh, normal. Is everything in there really just a bunch of plushies and just like teddy bear land and with just like some bad poison in there to make you think otherwise? <laughs> Roscoe, you're going to need to explain more. I... Uh, uh, <laughs> you're devolving I, to Schwarzenegger. <laughs> there was like some about Maxwell's past about people dying. I was like, oh, probably the big dude would was gonna kill him. 
and yeah. now I'm out here. Wait, did you say this is amazing? This guy this like showing the the plushie to uh, Roscoe. This guy attacking people against Max, and you said something about dying. Yeah, did something, I guess. Uh, I, I kind of just acted on intuition. I, I don't know. Negative one intelligence, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I know. I understand. We're about to attack that guy. And Maxwell did something, and then you teleported that guy out. This could be bad. Yeah. Uh, Question. What? You teleported out, right? Right. What's stopping us from teleporting back in? Ooh. Now you're thinking. I could. I'm always thinking. You're the one who's always trailing behind. I could manifest a portal to get you back into that room. But I have Shock a feeling. Shock is just gonna squint his eyes and be like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And. I was gonna say, I like, could try and teleport in. Roll to try to teleport. No bonuses? No bonuses. That's... God, my dice love me today. 19. 19. <laughs> you are successful in teleporting in. By teleporting in, Jacques sees Maxwell fighting with another gentleman in blue. What looks like... Um the same type of armor. Wait, wait. what happens to Sylphie? Uh, you still have enough blood to survive. <laughs> I am. Oh, I, 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 I guess I need to really quickly roll to see if she's conscious. Okay, roll to see if she's conscious. Also, no, is that's a fuck no. <laughs> okay! <laughs> motherfucking explain this shit right quick, please! <sighs> So for fuck's sake, Sylphie passes out from lack of blood. Hmm. She's not dead, just knocked out. Yeah. Y'all oh. are making decisions without actually fucking listening. But okay, I should get all of you a fucking trampoline. <laughs> Y'all want to fucking jump to conclusions? I mean, th this, this was a mechanic that I've talked about before. Yeah. Loose, but I have literally told you before. I'm not using enough of your blood to cause you to fall unconscious. It's just enough to cause the manifestation of my body. That's don't it. worry. Yes. I, don't worry. The old narrator a, will fix it. Or, or fail thing. miserably and it'll be super funny. Mm. Probably the law. Anyways. Question. Does the 16 enough for me to teleport in as well? You fail. You mm. try to connect <laughs> with... Failure. You, you try to connect with uh, Jacques, but you can't see where Jacques is. I mean, I wasn't aiming. I wasn't aiming. No, I would have been aiming for Maxwell. You don't know where Maxwell is. You, you Inside know, the urn. <laughs> he's in the urn, but you don't know exactly where he is. Yeah, fair. Jacques got, Jacques got lucky. Mm. Hey. It would have been real funny if I rolled one. Bumped into the air and caused it to shatter. <laughs> so actually, it would have been price. worse. I, I just want to get this straight. So I see Maxwell you... and another person in blue that are wearing approximately the same armor. Right? Fighting right. each is other. Maxwell, is Maxwell a power ring? <laughs> non, 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 non copyright. Wow. I'm. It's just... only episode four, and you're now realizing that this is a. Maxwell is a ripoff of a Saban. We were we were already over this too in the first episode. Exactly. <laughs> Just Anyways, gonna back say, to the I'm gonna say fuck it and do this. I want to make a grab roll against the guy in blue. Okay, go ahead. I feel like this could either be really good or really bad. <laughs> There's only two ways this can go. Because I, if uh, I see someone fighting Maxwell, it's like, you know what, fuck it, he may be stupid, but at the same time, he's part of the team. Right, so you're rolling a dexterity right, roll, by the way, to try to grab. Correct, because I actually have the advantage for it. Right. And Where's I have a 30 foot reach. Okay. So that, oh shit, that's hot. 
Uh, 24. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Grab roll, does that also take into account close attack bonuses or no? Not in this case, no. Okay, then. So yeah, 24. 24. 24 from the mouse. Jacques grabs Logan. Now here's the best part about it. Since I successfully grabbed Affliction 10 triggers. Okay. He's got to make that DC. All right. We're going to do that. So we're going with a fortitude check. I need to bring back up. Oh, God. <laughs> Are we going to make Maxwell's brother comatose? Or <laughs> uh, possibly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he, he got a nine total. Oh, okay. I think <laughs> that qualified. DC. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh um, failed so by failed. 11. That is, <laughs> that is... That is something. I think he's comatose. Uh, I think he's comatose. That's a, That's a degree he 3. That's a degree 3. Incapacitated. Okay, so he here's is what... incapacitated. He's out cold. Here's what happened before he gets knocked out cold. He feels the grab of... It felt the grab of Jacques. And Logan, <laughs> just freaking <laughs> out. I told you, you see this? Legion is trying to... Hey, is no. taken to the ground. K.O. Dramatic rest, finish. <laughs> the rest of the group? Maxwell, how dare you? I, di I did... It's not my fault. Seriously. I knew you were bad. You Interjection. Y'all need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> you need to roll an awareness roll. Roll an awareness bad, check. Easy shit. Uh, I can I tell? <laughs> oh, hold on. What's up, Truth? Can I teleport back into the urn? You can make an attempt to roll, or you can ask Doctor Fate to try to get you into the roll or into the. Yeah, I mean. Urn. What type of roll is it? Because I rolled a pretty high number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a precision I rolled roll. a pretty high number. That was just so good. <laughs> so I, I need you to roll a, per, a uh, awareness roll. You were going to say precision again. That's a 23. 23. You are able to reappear back in, to Maxwell's game. And you, see you, that. Why was mine a flat 20 and he got a word? Out of curiosity. He, he got a 23. You got a 16. You. And on the you die, I was not told that I was allowed roll. to use. He hey, gave us a flat roll. A literal flat d20 roll. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then, What's confusing here? Alright. Well, then, what'd you get as a flat roll? That was the. That was the number you rolled beforehand, without your awareness. Yeah, Yeah, that was a 16, wasn't it? So That's then, the same as John's. So no, you did not succeed then. What? If it's a flat roll of 16, no. You need to roll oh, a, a flat 20. roll of 18. Oh, 18. Oh. You need to roll a nat 22. Be Wait, Sean got a 19 on the die. I did get a 19. And you said that passed. Yep. Okay. I, I'm not looking to cause issues here. It's just that there's a lot of confusion for me. Okay. <laughs> right now, Roscoe and Gilgamir failed their roles. The only one who succeeded was Jacques. Okay. Anyways, let's go back to that awareness role from before. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, because here's the thing. Roscoe succeeded because he already was in the, the room. He already knows what the room looks like. The reason why Gilgamir failed because Gilgamir doesn't know where the room is or what the room looks like. So he's not able to see where he's teleporting. And with that minus one intelligence, I doubt Roscoe can articulate well enough. <laughs> so That's just a minus one. That's a minus one. So yeah, he did succeed, technically. Okay. So, that's the way he succeeded, because he already knew what the room looked like. Too bad he didn't decide to share all the info before disappearing again. D yeah. 
I'm guessing my shit was just kind of understanding the situation a little bit. I don't fucking know. You, you just took a random guess and teleported and got lucky. I fucking got it somehow. Jace, <laughs> can the cool narrator te- try to teleport in? I mean, you don't have to try. You're, you're the narrator. You pretty much can p- transport anywhere. All right, cool. Except He's just gonna cannot, stroll in. <laughs> you, you can't. Let's just put it this way: you what's cannot up, technically interfere with what's going on. You have what's called the Watcher ability. Yes, but he has the ability interfere. to talk to the rest of us. But I can just kind of be here. Right, you could be there and annoy the crap out of us because we could hear you. You just can't exactly. interfere. Exactly. Right. Sean's it, it, awareness pack. So, yes, I had an unnatural 20. An unnatural 20. So, you are aware that the rest of Maxwell's team is turning on him and thinking that he is a traitor. And he's working with Legion. I got this. Which is starting to scare Maxwell because the real traitor... Since you you grabbed... Logan, you find out mm-hmm. Logan was the traitor, but you ah, n- gotcha. no one else knows that but you. However, the rest of them are able to see me, correct? They know that you're there, or they know that your ability just happened, and they think it's part of Legion's ability. Are they able to hear me? That you're going to have to roll an awareness check, and you're going to have to target somebody. Preferably, if you have an idea, maybe Maxwell? Go ahead and target Maxwell. Okay. <laughs> I love my fucking guy. <laughs> Holy shit. Why did I have funny. a feeling? I was going to say, why no, did I know funny. this? Okay, I feeling no. this is where we were going. <laughs> you telepathically get in contact with Maxwell. Yo, Maxwell, I know you probably can't see me right now, however, I am here. Uh, I'm gonna say this now. Blood, blood dude, that, that's, that's it's you, Jacques. right? Yes, it is, and it is Jacques. Okay. I'm about to get my ass handed to me by my old team. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to explain some stuff to you real quick, okay? Okay. Lesion was not the problem your brother. What do you mean Legion was the pro- Legion was the terrorist that caused your the brother whole cut- was the traitor. I knocked him unconscious. However, I found out he was the traitor when I did. Okay. I'm going to make you do an in- intelligence roll to give him more information cuz Maxwell's about to freak out, which is going to cause him to lose the game. <laughs> did you get a 20? Again. 20. <laughs> it's a 20. Okay. It's a 20. <laughs> so. I think he managed it. By grabbing Logan, you were able to find out that because Logan got jealous of Maxwell marrying his ex. Logan set up this entire thing to kill the rest of the team. Okay. And including his brother. So Maxwell. do with that information what you will remember, Maxwell's mental health is in in drive, so try to get it to him in a way that he's not gonna freak out. Right, right. Because the rest like I said, the rest of the team is going to attack him in about two minutes. In this case, I'm going to make a persuasion roll to try and help him calm down. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what is your persuasion? It's a zero. However, I can use it because of Jack Hall trades. Okay. So that is a 15 total. Okay. So Maxwell is slightly calm. But he's still in a battle-ready position because, again, his friends are about to attack him for I understand that. 
but after making that roll, I'm going to speak with him and tell him Maxwell. Yeah? Your brother was jealous of you, and that's why he set this up. He turned on you and your team. Well, that makes perfect sense. What are you talking about, boy? Also, just throwing this out there. Took no level of convincing whatsoever. Oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I mean... I don't well, need any about, more for like, that. Works. About ten minutes ago, Logan just spewed out like a bunch of information mm. on why Maxwell would be the traitor. So now, with that out of the way, I would like to target another one of the individuals. I'm going to let you do that, but first I'm going to try, I'm going to have Max 12 try to roll Persuasion roll with the information now knowing Good what's idea. going on. He uh, probably has a higher presence than I do, I'm not going to lie. He does, he has a 7. <laughs> he is one higher presence than I do. Huh. He has 7 higher than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I'm going to roll a d4, because Maxwell only got a 13 total. I'm gonna and that's over 20, though, in total. No, 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 13 total, as in he rolled low on the dice, but his plus got him to 13. Right. Oh. So, Maxwell convinces one of them. He convinces his wife that he's not the traitor. You gotta believe me, guys. You gotta believe me. I was not the traitor. Just look at the the evidence here. Why the hell would I do it? Clearly, Logan had more motive. Oh, so now you're going to blame your brother. How dare you? You see... You see the, the gentleman in the dark cloak just pull out a knife. Power Rangers now have ships. Good to know. (laughs) I told you if you tried anything that you would pay. And at that moment, I would like to... Maxwell did something that requires a fire warning. Okay, you can attempt to to do that. Awareness roll like before? What's your roll of the awareness? Yes, it's awareness okay. to try to connect with it is mine. That is Just a this up. 24. A 24. You weren't... Wait, what's your roll before the bonus? Or 17. The 17, okay. You weren't able to connect with him, but you're able to connect with the other gentleman that Maxwell was not able to, to persuade. Okay. So there's one guy that has a spear ready to attack. Yeah, I feel that's a bit more of a priority than the shiv. Then I got this. I hit you with the spear. Quick thing. Whoa, wait, whoa. I know you don't know me. Hold on. Please just listen to me. Maxwell is not in the wrong here. It was not his doing for this. There was some information that I had found out when I had come in here. And it turns out that Logan was, in fact, the traitor. He was the one that set this up and was planning on killing all of you as well as Maxwell. But Legion was the one who just took down Logan. And Logan just admitted that Maxwell was the traitor. That is incorrect. All right, I'm going to need you to roll a persuasion. It was I who knocked him out. (laughs) Yeah, actually, I was going to say that. Persuasion roll of 17. 17, okay. So you convince him that it was you that knocked out Logan. But he's not completely convinced. Roscoe. I need you to roll me an awareness check. Uh, 23. 23. Okay. Shit. Roscoe, you have a choice of trying to communicate with Jacques. 
Or you can manifest yourself to try and convince the team that Maxwell is innocent. Oh, so he can manifest himself, but I can't. You're a he freaking was... bloody blob right now. To be fair, he was already previously there. Right now, they think you're part of Legion. Looney, Looney, if you manifested, you would cause several panic attacks. Right now, okay. it's causing a panic attack because they think this was Maxwell's doing by distracting them and allowing... However, I'm still f somewhat fixing this to a degree. You're right. You're still trying to, but it's not... Oh, by the way, outside of the urn, where are we standing on getting... <laughs> the Dr. Fate to open that portal. <laughs> well, right now, um, you haven't asked Dr. Fate to try to get. He said he was gonna go start putting opening one. He never oh, said you mean he the was. Book? He's almost done. He specifically said that he was gonna start opening a portal. No, he said he was gonna finish deciphering the book. Yeah, so he's right now. Gilgamesh is gonna go, hey, um, not sure if. Chopped liver here, but uh, would it be a bad option to get me back in there, or what do you think? Oh, so the man who calls himself a god can't <laughs> get back Dem in. Demigod, let's clarify on that. But side point, so you do you want the others to survive or not? Frankly, there's literally no one in there I have direct attachment to. I'm just trying to be helpful. So if they die... You can your pettiness can be the reason why, not me. I don't care. Your call. <laughs> you you think my pettiness gives me You're the one trying to be petty right now and trying to actually be high and mighty. I have simply offered the idea of me trying to go in there to help. If you wanna just be mouthy instead, I can stay out here with the one person I am interested in protecting. You know, since you are learning to be a part of a team. I'll grant you this once. Debatable, but okay. Dr. Fate grabs Gilgamir. You better hold on tight there, Goldie. Because things okay, are Moldy about Gold. to get a little bumpy. Alright, Moldy Gold. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Fate I'm going to roll for him to see if he can connect with Roscoe. Okay, that's a net 20. All right, he hits. <laughs> He's able Why to... Why is it specifically Maxwell you have issues? <laughs> because he doesn't know where Maxwell is. He knows where Roscoe is. So No, no. what I'm saying is you play as Maxwell. Your rolls are not the best. Uh, Go over to Dr. Fate. Instant net 20. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't, you know. Pick the rolls. The rolls just happen. I, I think you may have a cursed character. Just saying. Yeah, if it's cursed, it's cursed. It makes more for more comedy. Yes, Doc the main helper. Doctor Fate <laughs> appears in front of the team, right where Roscoe Essence is. So where Ros Roscoe is in front of everybody, but no one can see Roscoe right now. Dr. Wait, so Fate he just... He just teleported inside of me? No. He's teleporting okay. in front of you. So, where your essence... So are your we already playing is... to see? Are we already playing to see? Yes. You're, you are playing to see because Dr. Fate is visible. Like, they're, huh. they're going to react to Dr. Fate. Yeah, and then the Gilgamesh is going to go, Oh, hey, Maxwell. Gilgamesh! Hi. Fate! Waves. Well, it's better late than never. I'm about to be executed by my own team. Why? Lacking context here. I think I know why. Oh, Dr. Good. Fate so is going to roll one. for an awareness to try to connect with Jacques. Gilgamesh is going to go, oh, by the way, um, why is there an undead, why is there an unconscious body points at Logan? Okay, Jacques. See? <laughs> you have two choices. You are now connected with Dr. Fate. You can relay the message that you learned to Dr. Fate. Or you can try to convince the group again 
that Maxwell is innocent. Just throwing this out there, probably better to pass it on to Pete since they'll probably trust him. <laughs> oh, hey, Fate. Ah, uh, yeah, so Logan was the traitor, Maxwell is innocent, and Logan was trying to kill the rest of the party under the guise that Maxwell was the traitor. Fair I enough. I Logan out. And I learned this all from doing that and figuring this Would shit out. Would you mind attaching to my hand? I'm just gonna reach out and grab his hand using el elongation. Okay. <laughs> Dang by, me, Art. <laughs> by using that, Fate, what are you doing here? I'm here to stop you from killing an innocent man. Innocent? He's a traitor! How dare you! Ah, uh, ta 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 ta. Oh, Violet, hello. Oh, what's up? Anyway. I mean, what? kind of just in the middle of a crazy. Stop and let me show you the truth. After that, you can do with it as you will. I thought you were Dr. Fate, not Dr. Phil. <laughs> Dr. Fate can <laughs> reveal certain things about people's pasts and whatnot. And I know, reveal I know. As, <laughs> as long as, you know, he knows He's the knowledge. He's basically revealing the information that I passed to him. Right. Okay. By doing that, he's actually playing the vision of, since he, since Jacques is connected to Logan, mm -hmm. he already is seeing the memories that Logan had to Dr. Fate, and that's what he's going to reveal to the hooded figure. And at 20, the hooded <laughs> figure actually <laughs> sees it? everything that Dr. Fate shows. Why is everything. it exclusively Maxwell? <laughs> No. <laughs> the hooded figure falls over. How dare you? Fate you weren't supposed to interfere. Was that you one of your messed. amended rules you didn't forgot to mention? Or... Oh, does this mean that you were in on it too? You messed with fate and time. I am just restoring the balance. With snap of Fate's finger, everyone that isn't part of the game is brought out of the earth. Ah. By doing so, it. Doctor Strange is in the room. Silphy, roll me an awareness check. Oh, good. Blabbermouth Supreme's here. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> This is either really good or really bad. Well, it depends on his role. First off there. Second off, what the fuck is this game? The, <laughs> just this session, Jace. Did you, is like, it another play? Did you bless our die in the holy DM water? <laughs> I may have, I, I may have not. I'm going to guess I that's went, that 20. I went on to Google Dice. <laughs> oh my gosh! I I went on to Google Dice. All right. Yeah. Okay. He's he's showing me on the stream. Right. It's a twenty. <laughs> okay. I went on to Google Dice. Fair enough. All right. Here is what happened. So while everyone was dealing with what was going on in Maxwell's game, <laughs> Silphy wakes up and sees that the book shatters that was floating in the air and Doctor Strange appears from where the book lies. Dear child, be healed by the powers of the Fasati. What injury? Because Silphy lost blood. Uh, so he just Doc produced more of Jock. Yes. Doctor Fate <laughs> restored Silphy's blood. And with that, <laughs> we were going to Jacques, end this tidy. Halloween episode. Ooh, I hope you enjoyed it with the spooks and specters and stop. So wait, 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 wait. What wait, spooks wait, wait, and wait, wait, what specters? We clearly wait, wait, were listening to the second. wrong story. <laughs> wait a second. You're telling me we're leaving off on that cliffhanger? That's the thing you have the problem with. Anyways, you know what? I gotta get going because I you gotta know what. Sleep. 
if it didn't catch in the uh, if it didn't catch in the voice, I said first of all, second of all, narrator, uh, what the fuck? What? Yeah, seriously, seriously though, like horrors and spooks and mm-hmm. what, what story were you listening to? This we we trivialized. Just... That's number tri- one. Number two, the fuck. We trivialized uh, his games, and this they were isn't in no a way frightening. Sixties Batman. Get that through your skull! Right. I, I do have one more thing to add. Um, why is it every once in a while you were speaking for our main antagonist narrator? Do you have something to say? What do you mean? Do you have up extra work to make the make ends? <laughs> there, were, there were a few times where instead of Mister Mister Big Emo Man talking. We got you Mr. Spoke. Small British. I I know nothing. <laughs> I know nothing of this. Would, really? He, like, I said, like I said, he had to pick up extra work, or he wasn't going to pay his electric bills. <laughs> That's it. I'm getting the chair. Wait, what? No, no, no. I, I've I've got a better chair now, Maxwell. Don't worry about it. Better chair than one that's signed by Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's made out of marble. Rock can hurt more than steel. Yeah. It doesn't dent. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, it cracks. Exactly. All right. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. Wait, what? wait, wait, wait. <laughs> can you do that while doing the outro? With you know what? Spot. Yes, I. Yes, I can. <laughs> then no. Take it away, cool narrator. No, I'll see I, you all I next week. Going to, I am going to give narrator one more chance. I'll give him one more chance just for chat. Narrator, who is our sponsor? It, 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 it's Eldritch Foundry. Yeah, yeah it's, it, it, you, you get, Very good. You Very get 25% off you only get you five to go- hits instead Stop. of ten now. No. Stop. Nerea, Nerea, I'm the one asking the questions. Don't be answering preemptively. You, you Second should, of all. You, you should just hit him for the, the wrong uh, pricing. It's 15. Ow! Oh! It's 15, now, you moron! Nerea, what prices can you expect from our competitors? Very high prices comparing to Eldritch Foundry. For example? Well, if you get WizKids, which limits your customization, their pieces are about 30 to $40, depending what kind of piece you get. And with our 15% off coupon? You can get a wonderful piece Unfortunately, it's not painted, but it's under $20. There you go. Well, at least he got something right for once. And what is one of the amazing features that the Eldritch Foundry has compared to our competitors? Over 10,000 different styles and pieces to choose from. Look at you learning quite swimmingly. To be fair... This, we're using up our one instance of him doing something right for the entire se- like series. This for the just love of God, now. why? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm I... gonna let you off with less beating than I normally give you before <laughs> knocking you out. Wait, wait, no, no, come on! <laughs> ah! I gave up the what if series for this. You, you're a waste, freaking dad. Who's gonna fucking hire you? I just found this out there. I'm pretty sure the What If series gave up him, but you know. All right. Now to all you monsters, misfits, and more following with our spooky season, I hope you enjoyed this Halloween episode of, <laughs> well, confusion, comedy, and Maxwell uh, failing at roles. And brutality of Gary. Please enjoy your lovely holiday. That one's your round. And, and we hope to see you all in the next episode. Of the heroes of the slightly ophiola table. Good night, everybody! Don't forget eldritchfoundry.com slash superheroes. The link should be in the description below.